Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. Um, so, to continue my uh, Monster Box show and tell uh, for year two, let's look at a fire. And then um, I've uh, organized them by Ableberry um, so that we can see all of the Hatcher monsters. Um, and then we'll look at uh, Max Lux after that. Alright, um, I guess I will look at all of the um, transcendent monsters that I got. Here is uh, Ryoma. And um, yeah, he's got uh, class Kinvigor. This is good because there's lots of uh, Samurais around. And uh, Cutthroat. This is really good for uh, Kushinada especially, um, since uh, she's got so many hit points. And uh, yeah, pretty happy with this guy. Uh, he does have a 10 luck. I've gotten a few of uh, Ryoma, so I was able to fuse them together. I did have some uh, extra. Uh, next up is uh, Agnamoot X, and uh, one of the stronger um, fire monsters, I believe. I also got a few extra of her, which is why she has uh, 15 luck. <laughs> And then uh, really happy about uh, getting this one, Marguerite Alpha. Um, she was a limited time in a uh, summer hatcher, and I really, really like her artwork. Um, I would have loved to have gotten her a um, sidekick Ableberry, uh, but oh well. And then, um, let's see, here's one of my uh, double Max Lux, uh, Rakshasa. And uh, one of my favorites, actually, since there are... No other Pierce Snow Warps uh, for fire, I believe, so yeah, he's pretty cool. Really good for uh, Kushinada Zero. And then uh, here is uh, Mikhail, and um, yeah, I just got her recently, been using her a lot, and she's pretty good. Maybe not as good as all of the other angels, but that's pretty stiff competition, so... Alrighty, and then uh, here is uh, Agnemut, one of the very first uh, Transcendent forms, and... Um, Still pretty good, although I don't use her too much. And uh, here is a Hanzo, of course, one of the recent transcendent monsters that we got. I uh, haven't uh, put in the time to give him uh, Able Berries. Um, I'm still considering which monster I want to uh, begin with when I do the JP game. I'm thinking of doing the Reset Marathon, and he is very, very high on the list. He is uh, that good. And he's really good uh, late game, or... Um, the current metagame, and also very early metagame, so he has lots and lots of versatility. Um, here's more Mikhail, more uh, Ryoma. Uh, Detox is really good for him because, again, uh, Kushinada, uh, but also uh, Shambhala. And um, yeah, we did get an update this morning about um, new monsters, new impossibles coming up. Shambhala is still not in there, so I'm wondering where she is. Maybe I'll get her later. Here's some Strike Haste, some Cutthroat. Uh, I guess we'll look at uh, Rinsu, uh, Cutthroat, and Survivor. Those are pretty good able berries on just about anybody. Uh, and uh, he was really good for making the uh, max luck of uh, Kushinada Zero. And then uh, here is uh, Santa Zeus. I don't know how many of you have uh, this guy. Uh, you had to have played uh, Monster Strike uh, two Christmases ago in order to get the uh, Ascension materials. Uh, but yeah, still pretty good. Uh, Pierce no damage wall with a uh, meteor strike shot and a blast bomb combo. Very, very versatile. Um, ah, here is uh, Azazel, one of my favorite uh, fire characters. And uh, both the evolution and the ascension is really good. And I'm sort of kind of considering him uh, to begin the uh, reset marathon. Uh, I might explain why in a uh, future video. Mm, what else we got? Got the uh, double max luck of uh, Fenrir X. He's pretty good. Ah, the uh, transcendent form for uh, Nonno just came out in JP and she looks very strong. <laughs> Too bad we're not going to get her in the English version here. Uh, sidekick. Ah, here is uh, Brahma. Very, very strong. Um, not super good in a lot of places. Of course, he's very good for just the, uh, the wood quests, um, but really, really strong in those quests. And then uh, finally, some characters with uh, no Ableberry. And uh, yeah, that includes another Hanzo, uh, because I haven't been working on those Ableberries. And then some other characters that I just don't really use. Uh, Salamander, Cinderella Ascension, um, some other guys. All right, let's go ahead and sort by luck, and then we'll look at the uh, max lux here. 
And looks like we got 21. Um, first of all, here's a Daisy, one of my favorite Max Lux for um, doing the Dragon Gems. Uh, she's got Pierce, uh, No Gravity Barrier, which is great. Uh, she's got Fiend Slayer, which works on every uh, boss in that uh, series. Um, Blast Bump Combo, uh, because strong bump combos will get you faster through those missions. And uh, yeah, really, really good. Uh, if I get another chance to make her, I might uh, do that. Um, otherwise, ah, here's Alexander. <laughs> Probably the, uh, the most um, unfun time I had making a Max Luck. Uh, he, was a, he had his own uh, Dream Hatcher, Dream Charl collecting. And uh, now it's not that big of a deal to make a Dream uh, Hatcher Max Luck. Uh, but back then, this was very, very tough. Uh, first of all, um, you could only get Dream Charles by uh, tapping on uh, damage chests if you were working, if you were playing with a co-op. Um, or the, the last boss, uh, if you uh, beat him, the chests come out, you gotta tap those. Um, so you couldn't really play the game uh, sort of absent-mindedly. You had to be paying attention to the game and tapping those chests in order to get the Dream Charles. So that was very tiring. You had to concentrate a lot on getting those uh, Charles. And then, uh, the drop rates were uh, terrible from the Dream Hatcher. Uh, for one thing, there was no guaranteed Alexander per 10 shot. Uh, if you got one Alexander every two 10 shots or so, that was considered lucky. <laughs> so yeah, very hard to get the Charles. Uh, very low drop rate from the uh, Hatcher. And then uh, the time to make him was pretty short as well, maybe a week and a day or so. Um, so yeah, this is very much a uh, trophy of mine. Um, I did use him a bit. Uh, but I haven't used him lately. Um, but yeah, it was so painful to make him, that's why the uh, icon uh, is of Alexander. Just to remind myself of that accomplishment. <laughs> One of my uh, top, maybe five accomplishments in the game. Uh, but yes, to continue... Uh, here is uh, Max Luck of Ashida. And um, yeah, she wasn't too bad once I got the uh, positioning down, mostly. And um, I was happy to make her. Uh, she's a fun character to use, I think, even though maybe she's not as popular as other Impossibles. Uh, who else we got? I really like uh, Sakuya, one of my favorite characters in the game, uh, just because of her uh, design is really cool. Um, and then actually, maybe a week or two after I started the game, uh, she became available, and I played her many, many times at the lower difficulty levels to try to get a drop. Uh, never did. Uh, finally tried the highest difficulty level, and I think I used like two orbs to continue. Finally got a drop, <laughs> so I was happy about that. And then maybe a year later she uh, reappeared, and uh, then I had a much uh, stronger team, uh, so I was able to make Max Luck of her. And uh, so yeah, she's another very uh, special Max Luck to me. Um, otherwise, I guess we'll look at uh, Izanami here. Uh, this was my first Impossible Max Luck, and uh, happy to make her, although it was a lot of work to make her, because I did uh, lose a lot. Um, there's kind of a lot that can kind of go wrong with her quest, um, so it was kind of a lot of uh, chance uh, involved with uh, finishing her. Uh, but she was really great for finishing uh, Kushinada, and then uh, lots of extreme quests, of course. Um, but yeah, that will do it for my uh, firebox, and then next up will be water. Uh, and thanks for watching. Take care.